25,000 people will die today because they live in poverty. 1,500 people have died already this morning in the hour and a half that we've been talking about optimistic challenges. Now, official development assistance from OECD countries is trying to bring that number down. It sits at around $133.5 billion. But it might surprise you to know that the global weight loss industry turns over $385 billion. 1.1 billion people in the world today are undernourished. But 1.5 billion are overweight. Half a billion of them are obese. This year, around 4 million people will die from water-related illnesses. Nearly a billion lack access to clean water. Now, while it costs only $3,000 to build a well in Africa to supply an entire community, we in Australia spend half a billion dollars on bottled water, yet we have access to some of the cleanest water in the world. So how do we fare? How do we fare in Australia? We're a generous, generous people. And I'm not talking about government's contribution. I'm talking about the contribution from households, yours and mine. What do we give? What do we give to charity in every hundred dollars? What's it look like? Well, that's what $100 looks like, but what do we give? It doesn't look like $5 in every 100. We don't give $2 in every 100. We don't give a dollar in every 100. In fact, we don't even give 50 cents in every $100. Per household in Australia, we give 34 cents in every hundred dollars to charity. And that's all charities, big, small. Some of those charities focus on people and some of those charities focus on poverty. And yet, last year, Australians spent $7.9 billion on pets. Three billion dollars on pet food. One billion dollars on grooming and accessories. Diamante collars, nail polish for dogs. Designer jackets to keep animals warm when they come built with fur. <laughs> now the average Canberra salary is higher than most. The average Canberra salary of $70,000 places us in the top 0.5% of wealthiest people in the planet. 55 times the average salary across the globe. And it's against this backdrop that I'm issuing a challenge today. I'm issuing an optimistic challenge. I'm challenging you to take a pledge I'm challenging you to give 10% of your salary, your net salary, to help fight poverty. And I'm challenging you to do that for the rest of your working life. Now, this isn't a new concept. Churches have been doing this sort of thing for centuries. But I'm not affiliated with the church. I'm not affiliated with the charity. I don't want your money. I don't care where you put your money. But what I do care about is that you think about making an impact. You think about where that money goes. I challenge you to think. There are charities out there that are thousands of times more beneficial than others. The average Canberra salary giving 10% can protect 1,400 kids from intestinal worms for 10 years. Now think of the economic 
health and education benefits that that brings. We know that for every woman that rises out of poverty, she brings four others with her. We know that an educated woman is less likely to die in childbirth, is more likely to have healthy babies, more likely to send her children to school, more likely to be able to protect her children from HIV, from trafficking, from exploitation. So today I launched the Canberra chapter of giving what we can. It's an international society of individuals, individuals dedicated to alleviating poverty in the world. There's more about us in the pack and how to get involved, but I challenge you to get involved. And I challenge you to take the pledge to give 10%. It can be done. I do it. If you can't give 10%, that's okay. Give what you can. But I challenge you to give to where it's going to maximise its benefit. Now these are optimistic challenges. But I'll leave you with the words of Churchill who said, we make a living from what we get. We make a life from what we give. Thank you.